good morning students today we start with the first chapter matter you already know about matter and the main points are matter is made up of molecules and in matter the molecules are held together by strong force of attraction that is called intermolecular force and the space between the molecule in matter is called intermolecular space if the force of attraction and the space is different in different substances and the relation between this intermolecular force and the intermolecular space is the stronger the intermolecular force smaller is the intermolecular space and the weaker the intermolecular force larger is the intermolecular space so we can tell that there are three state of matter the matter exists in three states solid state liquid state and a gaseous state example solid is ice water is liquid and water vapor is the gaseous state so in the so in the ice it is a solid substance the intermolecular force is very strong and intermolecular space is so weak in the case of water it have a intermolecular force and it have a little bit intermolecular space but in the case of gaseous state in the water vapor it have a no intermolecular force and it have a large intermolecular space then in the in this figure we can easily tell that in a solid state the molecule are arranged very well there is no intermolecular space between the molecule but in the liquid state it have a there is a little bit of force but it have a intermolecular space but in the gaseous state there is no intermolecular force but there is a large intermolecular space then why is the there is a difference in the states why the matter exists in a different state the reason is very simple the force and the space between the molecule determine the state of matter so in molecules it have a intermolecular force and a intermolecular space so this force and the space between the molecule determine the states of matter then the intermolecular force is strongest in solid state weaker in liquid state and weakest in gaseous state also intermolecular space is smallest in solid state larger in the liquid state and largest in the gaseous state so we can tell that the molecule held most tightly in solids loosely held in liquids and almost independent in gaseous state this is the first section thank you